Hey, my friend, as we watch the election results, we're going to talk about social media omnipresence and how the election can show us the way of being omnipresent, how that's important to get people to know you, to like you, to trust you. You know, if you think about the elections, if you think about Donald Trump and, and Biden, they both have been doing massive, massive social media and attraction marketing and personal branding over the last month, right? If not more than that, but really, really, really in the last week or so, right? Where all they go, they go around, they talk to people, but they're, they're all over, right? Especially Trump. I have to say Trump is a master marketer. Of course, he's in business. He's been in business for forever. And so he certainly understands the concepts of marketing, the concepts of, you know, you can see him doing these crazy videos and people are doing these memes and these fake videos with him. I don't know if this is true or not, but I saw this video with him holding a baby, right? And the, and asking the baby something and the baby spurts out some stupid thing about letting him down or something, right? So I don't know if that was, it didn't sound like a baby talking, so I, it must have been somebody who, <laughs> but anyways, it was done in a way that almost looked real, right? And But that's the thing. Why would he do that? Why would he allow that kind of silliness in social media? Because it's about branding, it's about being omnipresent, it's about being everywhere, about allowing people to see him everywhere. And you know what, it doesn't matter whether people like him or not, if they see him, they start to get to know him, whether it's good or bad. The idea is getting people to know you, to know you, right? That's the, that's the reason why you want to be omnipresent, why you want to do, you know, you can see how close it is, right? 227, 213, I don't even know how you know how uh, any of these numbers really work it's very complicated you know if you're really into election you obviously you know how all this works but you know um, who is gonna win we don't know yet it's still close enough that either one could win right but and the point is that they are everywhere on social media we're gonna talk about being everywhere on social media hi can you be on, on social media and what do I mean when I say personal branding attraction marketing and those things in just a minute but first this I can get here. So the real question is this. What are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so what is omnipresence, right? Omnipresence is being everywhere, right? So it's a term, it's a very, you know, com common or simple term. You can just look in the dictionary. It talks about being omnipresent is being everywhere. So how do you be omnipresent? Today's world, it has to do with being on all the different social media platforms, right? But doing that does take time. It takes energy. It takes, it takes you know and learning things you there's all these different platforms they have different ways of being they have different ways of doing things the the, the tools are different you know for example recording a video for TikTok or snapchat or facebook stories or just for facebook or for youtube upload they're all different ways of doing it right so you can't definitely when you're starting out you can't be everywhere you can't do that being everywhere when you start right so, I mean, let's uh, get into something that I've, uh, one of the people that I really love and I follow, if I can just get the screen, the right page here, um, right over here. So, I mean, if I show you this, let's go back to here. So, I just want to show you right here. Let's just go put that on the other side, on the other screen. Let's go back to here. And by the way, if you're listening to the audio of this, Make sure you go check out the video in the blog post at CIS25, what is it, 258, cis258.jsgagnon.com, cis258.jsgagnon.com to go check out the post on social media, being omnipresent, and the 2020 election. I'm not going to talk that much about the 2020 election. Uh, maybe I'll show you the results after the videos uh, at the end so we can see kind of how it changed from when I started to now. But let's just go to the screen here, show you this uh, over here. So uh, Gary V, do you know Gary V, right? Gary V is one of my favorite people and he talks about being omnipresent. If we let me just show you this little video right here. 
Uh, I think maybe, do I have that? Uh, right over here. Let's turn that on. Let's uh, play this and make it full screen. So this is a little intro here. We'll just skip over this guy and let's watch the video. What do you think is more important when starting out on YouTube or Instagram? Do you think quality or quantity is more important? Brent, great question. I think the answer is both, but I would go with quantity. Quantity gives you more opportunity to figure out what the quality is. So many of you are not posting because of your opinion, not what the audience actually gives. So, even though I believe that the creative quality is the variable of your success, it is quantity execution that becomes the opportunity to figure out what the quality is. Yeah, so he's definitely right about that. I mean, I'll just pause this right here. There we go. So he's definitely right about that, right? Well, I mean, I guess you have to kind of decide for yourself whether you think he's right or not. But for me, I do believe that, you know, you can't get to quality without taking action. You know, uh, you've heard people say you're in a suck before you're good and you're going to be, you won't be great until you're good. So before you're good, you got to suck first. So you got to be doing the, the post regularly. You got to be doing the content, right? So how do you do that? How do you do as much as you can, as quickly as you can? So you get to that point where you're good and then eventually get to great, right? You got to do the content all the time. So what is it that I do? <coughs> is uh, I share to everything. So let me just show you here my process. Whoops, where's my, my mouse? So my process is pretty straightforward. I mean, I have, um, I have a, I post to different, uh, different platforms. Like for example, right now I'm in the middle of posting to, to, uh, oh, my screen is reverse, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I, it looks like I'm looking away, but I'm actually looking at the other screen. <laughs> my, my webcam should probably be reversed. So it doesn't look kind of weird like this. But let's me just, uh, so this is on Pinterest. So on Pinterest, I basically create all these assets and I just uh, post, for example, I'm gonna post here Pinterest. Is that the one? Yeah, that's Pinterest. So I want the title to be this title right here. And I'm gonna copy this and paste that into the title right here. And I'm gonna put the content. And this one here is particularly a, a specific copy. This actually is a SoundCloud. So this is my SoundCloud uh, board. So I go and get the SoundCloud link right over here from yesterday's episode, right? And then I just, uh, whoops, wrong one right here. And then I just paste the link right there and I post the uh, pin, right? I post the pin. So that's kind of how I do the posting on Pinterest is just a simple, I got the text ready. I got the asset ready. As you can see right here, it was a, it was an image which had to do with my podcast. If I go back to all my, to all those, let's go to my uh, podcast, the SoundCloud. <coughs> so these are all the every day I post these, right? I post these uh, podcast numbers with, uh, as you can see, there's not a lot of views. Pinterest isn't really, uh, you know, this kind of image isn't really super popular on Pinterest. So that's why you only see a few views. But uh, it's still important to be on the different platforms. There's a couple of reasons, right? First, you become somebody who understands the platforms, right? And before you get there, you gotta you gotta start posting manually. You gotta start creating content. You gotta post on the different platforms. So for me, I started on you know uh, creating a video, uploading it to YouTube, and posting it to Facebook, and creating a blog post, right? So that's kind of how I started when I first got into you know the the the, the whole uh, online world, right? When I started in 2015, beginning of 2016. I started creating a blog post. I actually did two blog posts a day. I was, I was really bad at it here. Let me just show you. Let's just go back here to the, um, where, let's just move this one out of there. If I go back, say, for example, to my YouTube channel, right? <coughs> if I go to my YouTube channel, you can actually see how bad I was just by going through and just uh, going to my channel here, my channel, if you go to my channel, you can look at the videos. Oh, that's actually not my channel. Oh, look at that. That's my personal channel. Uh, switch account. It's been so long since I've been onto this 
um, computer that the setting isn't set up right. Okay, so if I go back to my channel right here and I go to the videos, you can sort by right over here, right? You sort by date added oldest. So now you can go and see the oldest video I have on there, which is my four years ago, happy year 2016. And welcome to success with JS. Be yourself with success tip number one. I mean, let's just, oh, just for the fun of it, let's just listen to that. See how bad I was. Hello, my friend, and welcome to Success with JS. I'm Jean-Serge Gagnon, and this is your financial success tip number one. Be yourself, which is something I have difficulty doing right now because this is all new to me too, right? But, uh, you know, if you, if you just be yourself and don't worry too much about what other people think, you just do what you think you need to do. So, as you can see, I sucked. I probably still suck now because I don't really know. I mean, in five years from now, I might look at the video from today and think, oh my God, I sucked back then too. But look at how much I sucked back then. Now, I'm just telling you that you might not feel you're comfortable doing all this content and producing all these things today. And maybe you're, you're, not, gonna, you're not going to be um, as good as you'd want to be, but you got to start somewhere. Like Gary Vee says, creating content regularly, doing all this every, every day, is going to make a huge difference like say and if you look at somebody like Russell Brunson he talks about creating content every day for a year right so just create content every single day for a year but how do you get it everywhere without spending crazy amount of time preparing everything to go to all the platforms that's where my syndication engine that I want to talk to you about comes in right so if you go to a click ecourse.com we're just going to go to click ecourse click ecourse Dot com, right so click ecourse.com uh, let me just put that right on the screen here let's just add this so whoops I'm actually logged in let's log out so that you can see the page what it looks like when you're visiting as a, a person that hasn't got an account yet so let me just put the link right here um, I'm going to put that in here <coughs> So I'm just going to put that right in there. It's going to be called clickecourse.com. What happened here? This is weird. Clickecourse.com. All right, so that's where you got to go. Let's make this a better color. Make this some sort of blue with a white background. Uh, background is going to be white. And then I'm going to make this opacity like this let's do this I'm going to make this a little bit smaller because that's kind of ridiculous put this down here all right so click ecourse.com so go to click ecourse.com you're going to see this page and I'm going to show you what you get from this actually I'm going to show you right now without uh, I'm just going to log in and I'm going to show you right now what happens um, to what you can do with this first I'm going to show you what you get out of syndication right uh, oh <laughs> that's funny that is funny okay I gotta just uh, do something right here think let me go back into here it's I tell you, you know, when you're doing something live when you're pr preparing something live there's all it's always seems like there's something weird going on right so uh, let me just uh, uh, actually that's not right sorry I'm on the back office right here doing some magic to the back end uh, let's just go over here and let's go let me do this kind of weird mm -hmm. all right so now let's just reload this okay so when you're on the platform and you have a syndication enabled let's just say for example I'm going to go in here so if I go to this one oh I didn't finish that one okay this one here already this one that's ready okay so once you've gotten your uh syndication set up you're going to end up with a whole bunch of thing uh, assets like this for example I would have for example a video thumbnail from the as this is the video thumbnail right here 
that I can use for it. This is whoops, I gotta reset this. Um, well, actually, let's just let's just uh, look at these assets like this. So you're gonna end up with some text for Facebook. You're gonna end up with some text for this one here is for where's the name Twitter the text for Twitter then you're going to end up with some text for Pinterest we're going to end up with a, some text for SoundCloud some text for LinkedIn uh, text for a Aweber email list YouTube and then a short video so this is a short video right here it's a one minute 50 a one minute 50 second video I mean you could make it a two minute two minute ten whatever because for Twitter is the two minute 20 second maximum the next one is uh, the video for for uh, LinkedIn or Pinterest that you want to share a shorter video you can have a video that's that's 10 minutes if you want I I use five minutes because I find that you know the sh the shorter it is the better it is to get them onto my blog because that's what I want I want them to come to my blog the next uh, is an audio and uh, the full audio right here that I use for uh, SoundCloud that you can use for podcasting right <laughs> and then the last is the <laughs> this is the the video thumbnail over here is the podcast thumbnail and then here is the gif a 600 by 600 gif and that's it so back to and that's that's what I created it doesn't mean you have to create it because you can you can go and add for example I can go in here and I can add a, for example, a new, new uh, image output. I want to have uh, an asset name. I'm going to call it GIF 1200, and it's going to be source video. Let's make it the thumbnail, a video thumbnail, and it's going to output to a GIF. And I believe it's. I have to, uh, but let's say it's uh, 1200. GIF 1200, right? Is that what I got in here? If I look at this GIF 1200. Uh, and then okay so now I've got that asset done and I just go here I refresh assets and then we're going to add this new asset right here hopefully that works yeah so if I look at this now now I've got a 600 if I go to the full resolution now it's a bigger image right uh, so that's that's how you get these assets to be created I can I can go in here and I can create another asset as well if I want to create for example a new video output I can say I want to have uh, so 15 minute trim or let's call it trim 15m right it's going to be the output is going to be a mp4 and it's going to be uh, what's 15 minutes 15 times 60 uh, let's do it I'm just going to do a calculator here 15 times 60 is 900 so let's say I'm going to do 890 right because I don't want it to be the full 15 just you know I don't so I want to have a uh, so I save that whoops and I say done and then I just say refresh assets and now it's going to be a new one right here the 15 minutes going to be processing it this takes a little bit of time but uh, and the thing is that now that I've created these extra assets in my syndication uh, series in my series see how it says edit series up there that means that now next time I create a new episode like today's episode when I add it to this it's going to do the 15 minute video automatically it's I don't have to tell it again this is just a one time thing to set up your series right so that's kind of how it works to generate all these assets now once you have the assets you can actually create a zip and download the zip to your computer uh, it's if I download this now it's going to have the assets from before because the these new assets aren't in the in there yet but I can regenerate the zip if I want but I'll just download it to kind of show you what it looks like that's in my downloads okay and if I go into here it's going to take a little bit right so it's it's 21 how long it's going to take three minutes okay well anyways once it's done we're going to show you what it looks like but once you have the assets on your computer that's what that's how you use the sharing you go to the different platforms you go to Facebook go to LinkedIn you create an asset you create a post so if I go for example to LinkedIn so I let's say you are creating whoops let's say you are creating a video every day right you could and you, and you want to share it everywhere you might have to let's take that link off of there you might have to you know make sure it's not any longer than 10 minutes right because LinkedIn is maximum 10 minutes so you might do the video and make it only 10 minutes 
thinking okay well that's at least that way I'll be able to share it on YouTube on Facebook on LinkedIn on Pinterest I'll be able to share it if it's less than 15 minutes but you can't share it on Twitter so what you're going to do a two minute video make sure you can share it everywhere that's you know another option but the thing is that you have you have to let you have to have a reason for your audience that's watching that video to go to your blog you want people to go to your blog you want to attract them to you that's personal branding traction marketing is all about creating content that's going to that's going to make people want to know more about you want to connect with you want to go check out your blog go get on your list get your freebies get buy your product all these things right so you want to bring them to your blog bringing them to your Facebook account to your YouTube account to your LinkedIn account to your Instagram account to all these different accounts on social media is good but the problem is that what if those accounts either get shut down for some reason or even the platform goes away right you're gonna lose all those connections right so you want to bring them to your blog add them to your list they become your traffic what they call your traffic your the traffic that you own right uh, to quote a Russell Brunson so I mean so if I if I go to LinkedIn right I can go right here I can just start a post and what I do is I go in here I want the LinkedIn text I'm going to take this text right over here and I'm just going to take this like this I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go to LinkedIn I'm going to paste that in here and now I have my course income secret 252 what's the better way I just heard a GoPro regardless blah blah, blah and then da 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 right so then I have this text right here that says you can go check out all my I probably didn't want this I, I should have but anyways and then I have now I don't want uh oh there's a link oh that's because I had the link I pasted the link so that's there so let's just get that out of there so now I want to post the video uh is it downloaded yet no it's not so then I would click on this and I would select the video to share I would go browse on my computer right uh in here in course it comes in, in my case it's I save them all in the same folder over here let's go down to the last one right over here that's this was 250 which one was this oh uh, I can't see more 250 oh actually it's right here oh I can't <laughs> which one was this it was 252 252 okay so I go here so I'm going to have downloaded this already I'm going to have in my course income secrets 252 252 252 right here right over here right so I'm going to have the video the five minute video right there so the five minute video has got an outro to it so I'm going to use this and I'm going to use that as my video for the sharing right so it's basically you want to be creating the content but you don't have time to create content for every single platform so you you use a syndication engine like this to create all these assets so if I click on this I would add it would add the video to it and I would be able to post the video I'm just going to cancel that because this is something that's already posted but you know I mean that's that's what you do on social media right you're going to post you're going to post things I don't know what's going on my computer seems to be a little slow but here's another oh there's a there's a Gary V video right here let's look at the what Gary V has to say Whoops. I know we're fucking divided. I get it. But like our history shows. What is he felt talking really about? fucking good. Elections. Felt really fucking good. I was born in a country that you couldn't do this shit. So I'm extremely grateful. I know we're fucking divided. I get it. But like our history shows, we'll eventually communicate. We'll eventually get tired of hating each other. Go vote. That felt really fucking good.
Hey, my. My mic was off. I'm so sorry. I was telling you that I was, you could also post a link from YouTube. I'm not saying that that's a good idea necessarily because your link from something like YouTube is going to be not as good as a native video. You really want to be posting native video. And you know, when you, when you get the link from YouTube, uh, either like that or by just right clicking on this, for example, right? Copy link address, going back here posting it. As you can see, you post it, it does post, put a, a preview of the video right there. And if you post it, right, you end up posting the video on LinkedIn like this, right? So now I have two, two posts that I posted some videos, which, you know, because I don't normally do this, I might get some sort of traction on this, but it's really not recommended because the platform won't show that to too many people, especially on Facebook. If I go to Facebook, right? If I go to Facebook, right, and I do the same thing, I go to, to the Facebook uh, profile and I go in here and I just post the link to my YouTube video, right, just post that right there, it'll do the same thing. It'll post a preview of the video with the text and everything and I can just post that right there um, and I'm going to say, <coughs> showing that posting that posting a link to your YouTube video isn't the best on social media. <coughs> Normally, the platform will not show it to very many people. I'm curious though. If you see this, please comment. Comment so I can see if I'm on the web. Okay, so that so I'm gonna post that like that. We're gonna see if anybody sees it and they comment, that causes the algorithm to show it to more people. So maybe by posting something like this, it might actually show up on other people's but like I said that's that's not typically what you want to do so I'm going to still just post this <coughs> I'm doing episode number uh 258 did we say let's just go back uh two 258 yeah that's right episode 258 cis258.jsgangon.com so I'm doing the episode 258 right now showing you kind of how how you can uh, you know do things on social media what is it that you see this is so slow I don't know why I I don't understand how my computer is so slow I got crazy internet speed here in Montreal but it's super slow to do to load up things anyways I, I don't I don't really understand why it's so so slow but like I said posting your uh, links from YouTube is not necessarily the right thing to do right um, uh, but we'll see what happens anyway so that's on YouTube on LinkedIn is the same thing like I said not necessarily a good idea to post links and uh, if I go to okay so syndication so how do you get your own syndication engine so what you got to do is uh, let's log out and I'm going to show you so log out and I'm going to go right in here I'm going to go so now when you go to clickycourse.com let's just put the link on there for you when you go to clickycourse.com you're just going to see this page you certainly read up 
and look at what a Clicky course is all about because Clicky course is a course hosting platform, but we do have the syndication engine. If I click on more right here, there's syndication right there. That kind of explains what the syndication engine is, uh, what others are saying about it, right? Um, and the 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 steps one two three right number one upload a video number two enter URL click the button and it generates all these assets that you can then use to share to all the different platforms right so how do you get that engine so all you got to do when you create a free account you just create a free account and then you use your email I'm gonna put CIS 258 today and I'm gonna register just a new account so it'll send me an activation link to my inbox I'm going to say add, yes, sure, go ahead. And this one here, I'm not sure, yeah, save. Okay, so um, then it's going to send you an email. So let's just go into my Gmail and activate the account. <clears throat> okay. Just give it a second to load up. Account activation. So you're going to get an email like this that says account activation. It's going to say you or someone else requested an account and if you did not, blah, blah, blah. However, click this link to activate it now, right? So we click the link to activate the account. So that's why it's important to put your real email in there because obviously you won't be able to activate your account if you don't have a real email or you, don't, you put a fake email. But now we have our account. Um, and then if I go to syndication right here, actually, if I can actually go right here, syndication. It'll give me a message saying that the syndication is not enabled for you it's not uh the reason is the feature is still in beta you just have to uh wait for it to become generated or you may request access by entering obviously if you're watching this you uh, should go and request access all you got to do is click on this and we're going to give you access to the engine just put in here uh would like access and you're just going to submit the ticket right and then i'm going to get a ticket or one of my support People are going to get the ticket. We're just going to go and activate it for you, and uh, we're just going to we're just going to. All oh, right, I gotta. Yeah, I'm not logged in. Okay, anyway. Hold on, hold on. Uh, so I'm actually going to have to open up this into the window. I actually uh, re didn't realize I'm logged out. So now, I, anyways, uh, let's just do this. So put it here. So I'm going to just activate the account for this person in uh, in the back in my back office here. <clears throat> just give me a second. So this is kind of the process. Once you request it, you got to wait a bit for uh, us to activate it. Uh, it, it might not be as fast as this so I'm just going to activate that right there okay so now if I go back to syndication by the way you're going to see a notification like this right here that's going to say that your access to syndicate feature has been uh, activated right so now you need to create a series so let's just uh, create a series let's call this uh, test talk right and it automatically creates all these um all these um assets for you the default series has all these assets sent output for different uh, text text output for different platforms uh wave uh audio two different trimmed videos podcast thumbnail video thumbnail gift thumbnail all these are all automatically created for you in this case let's create a um input for this I'm going to import video for input this is going to be called the trim outro and I'm going to add my outro to it now you should be creating your own outro obviously because this is a video that I created for myself for the outro actually it's in no it's probably not let's go into uh, course income secrets it's actually right here and it's going to be this one there you go save that okay so now I'm going to save that I've added that I'm going to add a podcast background as well import image and I'm going to call it that and I'm going to choose this and it's going to be the sound cloud. that's actually not a, the perfect image but anyways just for testing sound cloud where is it s 
SSS. There it is. Send command. There you go. Okay, I'm just going to use this. I'm going to save that. Okay, so now when I uh, now that I've got my series set up, so all the different assets I want from the episodes. Every time I every time I create a new episode, I'm going to want to have a new um, uh, a new series of assets that I want to post on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Instagram, all these different assets, right? So I'm just going to say new syndication and I'm going to ep episode number one and I'm going to uh, call this uh, first episode, well let's just say welcome to test talk, right? So that's just the title. After I enter the title I got to put a URL so maybe it'll be, it doesn't really matter, uh, Let's make this the presidential election link. Uh, over here. Whoops. Right here. Presidential election link right there. And then I'm going to upload. I actually, I'll take a video from YouTube. Uh, just take this video here. Copy. Obviously, that's not the right one, right? So let's close this down. <coughs> and then right here, I'm going to paste that in there. I'm going to click on next. That's gonna now that's gonna import the video. As you can see right now, it's downloading because it's getting it from YouTube because it needs to get the video to get the thumbnails out, to get the audio out, to get the GIF out of it. Uh, so all these things need to be gotten out of the video, right? Leaving it on YouTube is not gonna work. So it's got to go get it. And after it's done, now the video is gonna show up right here. And I can say I want the thumbnail. Let's say I want the thumbnail. All right, let's just do that. And, and then the sound off. Let's see, where do I want a thumbnail? I could probably look at the video here. Let's do the thumbnail right there. So that's going to be 1410, right? I want the thumbnail there. And then I want to put some text. So, welcome to this series. I will do some test talks to get better. Love to have you follow me here. The test talks will be something that will allow you to see what testing is all about. And oops, all about. And let you learn how to test stuff. Oops. So obviously this is all bogus it's just to test but I'm putting in this text right here to show you that and let's just make this let's make this a few more lines okay so we just have a bunch of uh, text in here I'm going to say finish so now when I finish preparing everything all I got to do now is create the assets like I said before let's just go here and like I said in here right we just went through this. We just went through this. We upload the full video or actually we put the YouTube link. We enter the title, the URL, the episode number and the full text and then we we're going to click the button to generate the assets, right? So we click the button, generate assets. So that starts the engine going to generate all these different things. As you can see, some of them are pending, some of them are, are uh, done already, um, some of them are processing and that's kind of how you do this. So if I download this, it loads up the thing. As you can see, it's the GIF from me moving. Look, um, it's like a short video, right? You can use this. I use these in my email lists, so you can do that too. I also use them as my blog um, cover image or my featured image. I uh, use them in my uh, something that I called uh, that's called a social jukebox for posts that I post to LinkedIn and on Twitter. And uh, but as you can see, it's processing the video, the trim videos now. Now, if I go back to the download, remember we had a download? Where's that downloads? Downloads. So we had the download right here, right? This download here, show in folder. This is where that download was put at, right over here, right? So if I open this, where is it going? It's going over here. Whoops. So this is the uh, video, the files that are in here, right? So these are all the files that we got the GIF, we put podcast, the, the podcast thumbnail, we got the trim video, the video thumbnail, the wave audio, 
the actual original full video is there too. Then we have the text for Facebook, the text for LinkedIn, for Pinterest, for SoundCloud. Uh, we have the full text of the episode as well. We have the YouTube, the Twitter, you know, SoundCloud. Anyways, all these different assets that you can generate yourself to do your content creation. So if we go back to here, uh, is he done? No, he's still processing. But all of these are all done, right? The video thumbnail is is right here. The uh, podcast thumbnail. Is, how's that going to work? Yeah. So the podcast thumbnail, as you can see, there's some little weird background. So really, we would need to have an image with the all white in the background. But this is going to be basically the podcast thumbnail. You can have it generated differently, right? It's really up to you. But that's kind of how you get that. Let's go take a look at the elections. Where are we with the elections? Let's get rid of this here. Uh, whoops, no, wrong one. There. So the elections are haven't changed much. 213. Uh, that's um, and they're still going. There's still potential. Either one can win, right? It's totally, totally crazy how all of that is. What am I doing? Look right over there, right? <laughs> Election is going on and Biden and Trump are fighting. They're doing it. But they did something that we all need to do online today is be omnipresent, be on all the platforms, creating content. They do it though with a team, right? They pay people to do that and they have viral because some people like to share their stuff, right? So that's what content syndication, being omnipresent is all about being personal branding, doing personal branding, doing attraction marketing. And I hope you got some value from this. And if you're, if you, like I said, if you want to have your own uh, syndication, if you want to create all these assets automatically, you just got to go to clickycourse.com and find the syndication under more up here. You can go more syndication right there to follow the instructions to get your very own engine for syndication. All right, hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode. This has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.